Well, hello, First English Community. So as I said on Sunday and on the Facebook page, we are doing here a little walkthrough to the church to just to give you an idea of what Sunday morning or Wednesday evening will look like. And again, just as a reminder, we will be worshiping inside Sunday, October 4th, 10 a.m. here in the building and 6.30 p.m. on Wednesday, October 7th uh, in the building again. So, so you'll come in these doors by the West Lawn uh, and as I said, there will be somebody, an attendant here somewhere uh, to just count you, make sure that you're counted for so that we can keep the number under 50. Uh, so, as I, so if you've been calling in, you know, your name, your name will be on a list and so you should be good to go, but just make sure you check in quick. And then you'll walk this way. Uh, if you do bring a coat, please do not hang it up or, or any of the hangers. Please just keep it with you uh, as you go to your pew. So you'll just t leave your coat on you if you have one. And you'll keep walking this way. Uh, this area here will be blocked off. So you'll just keep walking this way. So, so you will not go into the fellowship area uh, unless, unless you're coming for overflow. But uh, if you're just heading into the sanctuary, you'll just keep coming this way. Just like usual, right through here. Here will be the collection plate and a bottle of hand sanitizer, should you desire that. And then somebody will be here to help you get seated. And then we'll head into the sanctuary. And so as you can see, we have these markers on, uh, on the pews with a little X or a little uh, do not go in here sign and a strip running along the, the whole pew. These, these pews will be blocked off. The pews that are open are open for you to sit in, but an usher will come through and have you sit front to back. So as you come in, if you're first here, you'll be up towards the front. If you're the last one into church, you'll be sitting in the back here. Uh, and then there are also some seating over here where our family area used to be. We've, we've moved that out and, and added some pews. And as I stated, uh, the overflow will be out there. And as you can see, we've taken down a couple of the curtains just so that you know if you are seated out there, you'll be able to see into those windows. We will take down the rest of those curtains and you'll be able to see. So when it comes time uh, to be dismissed, you will be dismissed in the opposite order. You will go back to front. So if you came in last, you'll be the first to go out. So a little bit of uh, biblical metaphor there for you. And as stated before, uh, if you are in a group of of a family group of two or more, you, you can have this whole pew. Uh, if you are less or two or less, you'll sit here and somebody else can sit over here. But again, we want your help to just try to maintain that six feet of distance between you and anyone else who is not in your family group. So as I said, uh, when you're dismissed, you will go uh, back to front and on your way out. You'll exit out here, the front doors, and um, we'll have some people here ready to give you your communion on your way out and uh, a short little blessing. And then you'll be on your way outside. And, and if you wish to, to uh, stay outside and, and um, congregate or, or, or have any sort of chat with other fellow members, you may do so, but we ask that you keep it outside. Uh, we ask that you try to maintain the social distance as much as possible, especially as you're leaving the church Try to keep that six feet in between you and anyone else in front of you. Uh, so I know this is very new and, and a lot of rules. It will take us all some getting used to, uh, especially as we move into the Advent season. Um, but we're asking uh, for your help. Uh, certainly if you have any 
recommendations or if something feels like it's not working for you, please please let us know. And, and as I said, this will be kind of a trial and error a little bit. We'll be rolling with things until until Pastor Brenda gets here and, and, um, and then she will maybe have her own way of doing things. But until then, this will be our our uh, procedure. This will be our format. So I, I hope to see you on Sunday and on Wednesday evening. Uh, and until then, uh, God's peace be with you.